Brought to you by Orientex, the best lumpia ever. I'm Kataniba and welcome back to Halo Halo. This is our Orientex Making Memories segment and in the studio today is singer-songwriter Dane Drewis who is celebrating the release of his EP this coming Friday at Wits End. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so me. much for being here. Thanks for having me. Now congratulations. Uh, I know the EP is already out no. but we're going to celebrate this yes. Friday at Wits End. Yes. Um, tell me a little bit more about Live from Milano. Um, live from Milano was recorded live. It's a live <laughs> album so uh, it's five songs with uh, my mom and dad are actually playing in the band as well. Uh -huh. um, normally I do a lot of acoustic solo stuff, but right. this is a with full band with the keys and horns and yeah. dad's playing bass and my mom is singing back up. So. <laughs> That's awesome. I heard um, the last time you released an album, you had your parents and your sisters. Yes. <laughs> so it's always a family affair. Always a family affair. My parents are both um, professional musicians. They have been. That's how they raised me for, uh, for a long time. So it's in the family. So they raised you guys to be musicians or was it? Um, it was, they were, they were full time musicians until they had uh, my my younger sister and then they got real jobs but uh, <laughs> but uh, that's how that's how I was raised as a kid yeah. yeah what were some of the music that you would listen to um, I was raised on a lot of jazz and uh, like Motown stuff like that yeah. a lot of bossa nova uh, like Latin jazz stuff okay. but um, then in college and high school I got into a lot of rock and roll and, oh. uh, like classic <laughs> rock stuff so. song, you close your eyes baby it'll be okay let's forget about work today let this music soothe your mind, baby, to be okay. A love is live until it's something. So, Life from Milana, is it a little bit of everything? Yes, it's a little bit of a mix of everything. Uh -huh. um, it's definitely have roots in like R&B and jazz, but um, I'm a blues guitarist and definitely into rock and roll too, okay. so kind of a mix of all those things all at once. <laughs> How'd you come up with the title? Um, that's actually the street uh, where we filmed the whole thing. It was all filmed at my parents' house in uh -huh. Sacramento. and. Um, I live on Milana Street, so okay. I figured that was a fitting, fitting name. I know, I, for some reason I thought, oh, it's from Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like it, but no, yeah. But no. Yeah. But no. Um, now tell me, when you were working on the EP, mm -hmm. did you have a theme that you wanted for the um, EP, or was it just individual songs? Well, I picked a bunch of different songs um, mm -hmm. over the years that I've written. Some of them are like two or three years old that I've written, and some are more recent. But um, yeah. they're all pretty much based around relationships. and. Uh, trials and tribulations and stuff like that so um, that you've experienced yes, yeah <laughs> definitely all personal experiences okay um, so um, it's definitely kind of a kind of a you know like I said R&B kind of laid-back feel to it but, yeah uh, that's kind of the theme that ran through the whole thing yes and um, for the show that what I talked about this coming Friday mm -hmm. January 29th um, 30th oh 30th, yes, 30th. <laughs> where can we get more information and tickets um, you can go to my website uh, dandrewis.com or uh, the Wits End website you can actually go buy tickets which I would recommend because we probably are going to sell it out. We yes. almost did last time and it should be a full house oh, this wow. time. So That's you want to get there awesome. early. Yeah. So we're going to hear songs from that album and also yes. some old stuff. Yes. I hear you also do so, a side project. This, um, I don't know, if it, is it Dane Brown or Drew oh, Brown? Drew, that, was Drew a, um, that was actually a project when I moved down to LA with my uh, my roommate at the time. We did kind of like a hip hop, uh, pop electro project. Yeah, you're was, just, you love all kinds of music. Yeah, right? yeah, I try and stay busy, yeah, a little bit of everything. So. You'd like to challenge yourself? I do, I do. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, is, are we going to see your parents performing um, with you? My dad is actually playing bass with me on Friday, so oh. yes, I have, uh, my dad will be in town, my mom will be there in the crowd. Someone who knows everything, I don't know how you missed it. Your stars drift by and they coincide with your rhythm as you live it. And you shake it off without a cough and search for something deeper. Well, all along as I write each song without a chance to keep you. Is there ever like um, pressure because your parents have uh, all that experience? Not so much pressure. It's no. actually, I'm really lucky because they've really, really supportive about the whole thing. and. Mm. Uh, my dad like plays bass for me, and uh, they're always you know helping out with with gigs and making things yeah. making things easy for all of us. So now, um, I hear that some of your music has been on like Google TV. Yeah, I've had uh, some songs placed on some Google things. We had uh, one of our our Drew's Brown songs got placed on a uh, Monster Headphones commercial, 
and aired on the VMAs, and that was kind of out of nowhere. Awesome. Yeah, it was really, really fast. Were you sitting Happened there really waiting fast. for it to play? Yeah, that's when I was at the airport uh -huh. uh, a couple months ago, and I, they had like a monster little display booth, and I went and set up and put the headphones on, and our song was playing. So. Oh, that is awesome. That was pretty cool. <laughs> now, if you could have your music play on any TV show, what would it be? No, I don't watch a whole lot of TV. Um, maybe film? <laughs> yeah, maybe a movie or something like that. Yeah. It would depend on the song, but... Uh, no, I don't know. It's a good question. I don't know. I think just it had to be the right setting. It had to fit correctly for the scene, obviously. But that is definitely one of my goals is to get a song placed in a, in a big commercial or a big movie and get some exposure that way. Yeah, so. 2015, I'm yeah, thinking. Yeah, big year. I'm ready. Speaking of 2015, <laughs> I hear you're going to be writing some more, collaborating yes, some more. Yes, I have. Um, I have a new project with uh, this girl singer, Samantha Miter. We've been working a lot. Um, we actually are going to be releasing an album this year and uh, have a producer lined up. And it's really exciting. Yeah, a lot of duet stuff, a lot of harmonies, and kind of taking it really old school with uh, with harmonies and the songwriting but um, excited for that what kind Very of sound are you guys gearing to uh, we're kind of one? honing it in still we're kind of definitely getting the uh the details lined up but it's going to be um a very kind of like roots organic like more, um, is it more acoustic? Um, it's kind of acoustic. We're definitely going to do a full band show, but we do a lot right now. We do a lot of solo, just um, just guitar and me and her singing. I'm um, just trying to make sure we get everything down real solid with harmonies and performance, and then uh, we'll let the producers make the sound real big <laughs> after that. But. You are keeping busy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who every day. else would you like to collaborate with? Oh um, gosh, there's. I mean, there's a lot of different uh, performers around town. LA is just so filled with talented people. It's. I mean, I see people all the time that I'd love to collaborate with. So, I like to just keep channels open and not really you know pigeonhole myself but um, try and keep my sound my sound you know? yeah exactly now tell me about the song you're gonna perform today um, the first one I'm gonna do is probably the single off of my album it's called come on home and um, it's kind of a sad love song but, uh, yeah. <laughs> something that happened to you uh, yeah actually, yeah. And actually we have a video actually that's being edited right now it should be out in the next couple weeks I did, hear, um, I did see the, the yeah, teaser, the on, your teaser on, Inst page. Yeah, on Instagram yeah I just put that up so there'll be a video coming out soon uh -huh. um, really excited about it what's and, it about um, it is about a relationship where things just didn't work out the time it was not quite right and mm -hmm. just kind of asking the girl to come back home yeah. What's the second song? Uh, the second one would be, I think I'll do uh, No Sugar For You. It's more of a kind of an angry one. Oh, really? About, it sounded yeah. sweet. <laughs> no, it's kind, of a, uh, it's kind of the opposite of Come On Home, like kind of stay away. If you're gonna okay. Oh, yeah. No Sugar For You. Got yeah. it. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to take a quick break cool. uh, so that we can set up and have you perform. Sounds good. For all of you, if you want to grab your own lumpia, you can head to your Filipino supermarket store. Time for a quick break, but don't go anywhere because Dane performs all when we return. Brought to you by Orientex, the best lumpia ever.